And I was waiting on God, what is going to be the direction for these three Sundays of glory. And there's just one word in my spirit, and that is breakthrough. Yeah. And that's breakthrough. And just because, uh, uh, or just before you hear the word breakthrough, and you shut down, that maybe it's a word you are used to. Okay, breakthrough, okay. Okay, breakthrough, all right? Uh, let me say this, that, that is like the closest word I can use to describe the word is in my spirit. What God is said to do these three Sundays. Uh, now, because when you hear the word breakthrough, it is not limited or, or, or confined only to financial stores. Now, that is beautiful, all right? That is good to have financial breakthrough. Hey, amen. Who shouted a loud amen? And if you so desire one, you are going to get it. Okay, let me prophesy the way I feel like prophesying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Before the end of this first quarter, the reign of financial breakthrough you didn't achieve last year. Now you are going to walk into it in the name of Jesus. I say you are walking into it in the name of Jesus. Please you can have your seat. Hallelujah. Our media director, I, I, I'm sure it's somewhere working right now. Uh, now uh, is IT Guru, that's what is told um, from um, what's more of this school in Abekuta now. A Yunab, that's what he studied, and he has been involved with this for well over 10 15 years. And just this January, God um, had opened a particular door for him, and he decided to honor God, having uh, received what God did for him. He honored God with his first fruit. I'm not preaching on first fruit, be comfortable. Is that okay? So he honored God with his first fruit, and he's somewhere, I'm sure he's listening to me right now. And between the time he honored God and now, what God did for him just this January to the glory of God is more than all he has experienced in the past 10, 15 years that he has been in IT world. Now, listen to this. These are international doors opening for him. Now, I said that to say this. That was not in my note. That somebody here, before the end of this first quarter, the reign of financial breakthrough you have never seen in your life. If I be a man of God, or an I'm a man of God. Whether you are watching from a cotton or from water, or you are in this room, or you are watching from anywhere all over the world, I give a prophetic push. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Please, you can have your seat. Hallelujah. Uh, now, uh, uh, but when you hear the word financial uh, breakthrough or breakthrough, it's not limited to that. There is marital breakthrough. Glory to Jesus. There's family breakthrough. Glory to God. Now, one of the breakthroughs I desire these three Sundays is spiritual breakthrough. You see, you heard about that lady's testimony addicted to drug for many, many, many years. And it was about this time last year we brought Somi Sola. And during the worship, nobody laid down on her. She didn't fall down. And she got delivered. She lost taste for that drug. And now, if you have been to rehab before, you will know how many months that would have taken her. Okay, what would have taken her months? And then maybe she will still be, really, they can't even take care of it in a rehab. They, just, they can only manage it. But just exposure to an atmosphere of worship. Just like somebody is about to have right now. What she has contended with for years. She got delivered. Can I pray for somebody here? I don't even need to take permission from you. Whatever has slowed you down, any addiction, any sin, any struggle in your life uh, uh, that has limited your potential, that has, pro uh, that has prevented you from becoming all that you are destined by God to become, wherever you are listening from all over the world, uh, I decree your freedom now. 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 Can somebody shout a believe in amen? amen? Please, you can have your seat. Glory to Jesus. And one of the breakthroughs I'm believing God for these three Sundays is breakthrough in your mind. It's breakthrough in your mind. You see, the real breakthrough happens in the mind. Uh, it might not show in your pocket for you, uh, you know, okay? It might not even show as it were, uh, humanly speaking, where our spouse is concerned. But the real breakthrough is in the mind. You know, God was talking to Abraham. He said, Abraham, as far as you can see. In other words, once the limit is broken in your mind, it's a question of time. What goes on on your inside will reflect on the outside. While as he thinketh, so is he. So the real breakthrough, watch this, is what really happened on your inside. If you check the revival or the outpouring of rain that happened in the day of Noah, it was surprising that the Bible says the depths were broken first. 
So the depths were broken. The depths were broken. And the heavens were open. So what you call rain in the days of now is a combination of the depths that were broken and the heavens that were open. Because watch this. If you get financial miracle without financial intelligence, it won't last. So these three Sundays, I'm believing God that, that something is going to happen to your mind. That you will know it as you know your name. That every, you remember that particular elephant that has been tied down for over six years. And after a long while, they untied the rope. They removed the rope from the leg of the elephant. And the, but for the six years that they tied down this elephant, especially as, uh, uh, so the tying of the leg of the elephant happened, immediately the elephant was giving birth to. So they tied down the leg of this elephant to a very, very massive a tree as it were. And after about six years, they untie the rope from the leg of the elephant, but they discovered that though they've removed the rope, the elephant couldn't leave the space where the tree was. So because they removed the rope only from the leg, they didn't remove the rope from the mind. That's why Israel, they left Egypt, but Egypt did not leave them. That's why they were out of Egypt, but all their conversation, they were still talking as if they were in Egypt. And that was the major reason why they couldn't enter the promised land. Now, it's good to travel out of the country, but be sure that you are freeing in your mind from limitations in Nigeria. Because if you go to any country all over the world, and you still go with the mindset of a Nigerian, you will still reproduce the same result. Because a lizard in Nigeria cannot become an alligator anywhere. Not everybody in UK is okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just uh, permit me before I proceed. Can we celebrate Pastor Gideon and Pastor Josephine for great work, for great work, for great work, for great work they are doing here and all the leaders that work with them. Please, you can have your seat. Glory to Jesus. Now, if you follow Zion closely or if you are connecting for the first time this morning, the prophetic word God has given us for the year 2024, you will find it in Psalm 126. Um, message version 1 to 3, please. And if you don't mind, I'm going to read. Then we'll move to Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. See message version. And please look into the screen uh, very close to you as we read together. 1 to 3, go church. Can we read? It seems that. Now, please hold on. As we read, I want you to see this as God's word for you. Okay, see yourself having one on one conversation with God about your 2024. And this is what God is telling you. Is that beautiful? So, can we read now? 1 to 3, God. It seems like a dream. Too good to be true. When God returns, Zion's exile. Okay, some people put their name where they saw Zion. Okay, come right now. Pay attention to verse two. You will love it. We loud. I sang. I couldn't believe my good fortune. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Now, come read verse two again, church. One, two, three, go. I loved. I sang. I couldn't believe my good fortune. I am the talk of the nation. God. Can you rush down to Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5? Uh, message. Habakkuk 1 verse 5. Th glory to Jesus. Now read everybody. Look around at the godless nations. Look long and hard. Brace yourself for a shock. Something is about to take place. You... Can we just read again one more time? Look around at the godless nations. Look long and hard. Brace yourself for a shock. Something is about to take place and I am going to find it hard to believe. Can I prophesy over you? 2024, there will be series, there will be avalanche, there will be catalog, there will be chronicles of mind-blowing testimonies that if someone had told you June last year, if someone had told you August last year, that this is going to happen in your 2024, you would have found it difficult to believe. If that is your work, can I have a believer? Amen. Amen. Please, you can have your seat. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I've got to rush now. Um, if you study Mark chapter 6, um, something uh, powerful happened there. Jesus was in a particular place to preach. Hallelujah. And the Bible used a very powerful word. I need you to pay attention to Jesus was in a particular place to preach Mark chapter 6. And the Bible says Jesus could not do mighty works. He couldn't do mighty miracles. Now from the two scriptures we read, you should have concluded that God is getting ready to blow our mind this year. Yeah. We should have concluded that 2024 is not going to be the regular year. Let me say this to somebody here by the Holy Ghost. Maybe previous year you set goals. Previous year you set your expectations. You release your faith. And seemingly you didn't get your heart desire. And here you are right now. The devil is trying to mess up your mind. As you are trying to release your faith. Let me quickly give you this notice. This is not a regular year. Yeah. 
2024 is not a regular year. I was coming to church this morning and the Lord said I should declare over somebody here. I, I, I had sound of congratulations. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. I said I had sound of congratulations. In the name of Jesus. Please you can have your seat. Glory to God. So this is not a regular year. 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 Hallelujah. But when you study Mark chapter 6, the Bible says Jesus could not do mighty works. Jesus could not do mighty works. And the Bible was kind enough to tell us why that couldn't happen because of unbelief. Because of unbelief. And that's one of the most disturbing scriptures for me. The Bible says he could not. Not he did not. He could not. Do you know what that means? For the first time, divinity was limited. For the first time, Jesus laid his hand on the sick and the sick was not healed. For the first time, Jesus had a deliverance class. He rebuked demons to live and the demon did not answer him. For the first time, you know, you know, Jesus gave order and the orders bounced back. For the first time, there was confusion in heaven. What's going on on earth? Because they were watching the administration of Jesus. And they were like, this is the same Jesus that raised Lazarus. The same Jesus that walked on water. The same Jesus that opened the eyes of Barcelona. The same Jesus that multiplied five loaves of bread and two fish. What's going on? There was confusion in heaven. Angel Gabriel, Michael, all the angels, they were running here to scatter. God is about to be disgraced. What's going on? And they found out that the problem didn't come from heaven. The problem was from the location where Jesus was ministering. And the Bible concluded that much couldn't happen because of unbelief. Now, this is not my note, but God would have me address this to somebody here. 2024, be careful of unbelief. And this is what I'm driving at, okay? Whoever is building your faith is your best friend. And whoever is feeding your doubt, run away from such people this year. Whoever, I mean, whoever, whoever, who come into your space, uh, uh, what conversation do you have? And your dream for this year, you are beginning to water it down. This is just January, guys. Who talked to you and all of a sudden, there was this zeal, there was this excitement, there was this fire you brought to 2024. But now, the passion is going down. Can I ask you this question, guys? Who talked to you on phone? And when you are done talking, you feel like praying for 30 minutes. Yet, you guys didn't talk about prayer. Oh, you didn't talk about prayer. You were just gisting. But when you are done, immediately you dropped the call. You couldn't help yourself. Your man not called Shatine. He fell at the cabara. Don't she that they have her? And who talked to you? And when you're done with talk, then the hunch for pornography come back. Or the hunch for. Now, now the person didn't ask you out. But there's some dirty talk, so glory to God. You see, when God wants to help you, He sends a man into your life. When devil wants to destroy you, he sends a man into your life. One of the smartest things you can do as we enter 2024 is to take is, is to do what my pastor will call opportunity cost. <laughs> opportunity cost. Opportunity cost. This circle of friends, this circle of influence. How did they help me last year? Glory to Jesus. Because listen, because the way faith comes by hearing, the same way unbelief comes by hearing. What soap opera do you watch and your passion and your urge and your hunger for solid marriage drops? What channel do you watch? What program do you watch? The same way faith comes by hearing. Unbelief comes by hearing. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. God is getting set to blow our mind. Now watch this. Within the next 21 days or within the next three Sunday, there's going to be a lot of testimonies of breakthrough. Amen. And I'm talking about your testimony. Amen. You see, I was praying overnight and I had God clearly. The Lord told me, they said, James, uh, within the next three Sundays, I want to deal with long standing issues. Oh, God, you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. I said, the Lord said, I want to deal with long standing issues. He uh, said, what is that aspect of your life that when you are praying, okay, and you're like, God, I know you've done everything, but this one, this is my belief. I guess I'll just have to die with this. The Lord said, those are the cases I'm interested in. This. Yeah. 
Do you have any kids in your life that when your mom wants to talk about it or your dad or your friend, they're like, no, don't go there. No, 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 no. I'm done with anything, man. I'm, I'm, I'm done with anything, marriage. No, 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 no. Try me out of the country, I'm done. After five rejection in embassy, no, I'm done. And you know that you are not traveling because of Jabba. You know you want to travel because it's a prophetic assignment for your destiny. Because those are the cases I'm interested in. Is somebody with me here? Maybe you have a particular health challenge and you have concluded you will live on drugs for the rest of your life. <laughs> I came to bring prophetic interruption. Yeah. You see, the Mary and Martha told Jesus, if you have been here, our brother wouldn't have died. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Pastor James, I, oh, I wish you were preaching this message last year. Uh, Pastor, I wish you were preaching this message two years ago. Uh, uh, Pastor, you need to know what has happened to me. Yeah. You listen to this. Uh, it didn't call for light into darkness. Uh, it called for light out of darkness. Uh, can I profess about somebody here? Out of that messy case, uh, a testimony is coming out. See, I don't want to describe what I'm saying in my spirit right now. I don't want to describe it. Uh, but out of that messy case, uh, out of that hopeless case, uh, a miracle is coming out of it. Uh, can I have a faith believer? Amen. Can I have a faith believer? Amen. Amen. Please look have your seat. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 A lot of testimonies of miracles are going to be happening. Especially where breakthroughs are going to come. And, and, and listen to this. These are testimonies that you will have to... Let me explain this in the vernacular. Hope you, you will understand it. You will explain tire. Amen. I warned my wife this year. I said, baby, get ready. I said, I sang a realm of blessing coming. That uh, you might be the only one that will be able to defend me. That my husband is not into money laundry. <laughs> Ah, so I have to prepare a mind also. Can I see Kata Lagos? Can you handle this? Receive supernatural supply from sources you are not expected. Hey, 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 hey. Receive supplies from sources you can't explain. Receive it done in the name of Jesus. Please sit. Hallelujah. 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 Can I say this place? Be intelligent, read books, work on yourself, okay? Um, emotional intelligence, uh, up your game, build capacity. I said, but let me submit to you guys uh, what God is here to do this year won't make sense. If you try to relate with God based on your five senses, you're going to miss God this year. You know, remember that economist said that even if God opened the windows of heaven, even if God opened the windows of heaven, even if God opened the windows of heaven, how can this be? Oh, you don't get it because on Sunday, last week Sunday, you were waiting for someone that would give you a lift. Uh, 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 you needed someone uh, uh, to give you a TV. And the next Sunday, Pastor is dedicating four of your cars. Uh, hey! Now, if you're in this room, can I have a believer? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Please say it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I mean, the same you that used to fight on the streets, scatter everywhere. That when you start, even your mom take over. Now, all of a sudden, that the same you, they see you preaching the gospel. Hey! Now, all of a sudden, the same you, you're on fire. Now, all of a sudden, the same you, you are cool, calm, and collected. Hey, receive the fire where you are. Receive the fire where you are. Hallelujah. Please sit, hallelujah. I saw a lady while praying overnight. I, 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 you see, you have become so much what I describe like a question mark. And not just to you, but to people around you. Uh, you see, the, the, the situation that surrounds your life is more of questions than answer. And the Lord said it's about to turn around. Amen. Why? Because when the Lord shall again turn around, the captivity of Zion will shall be like them. That's a dream. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. I thought I would declare this after I'd been the ministration of uh, God's servant, uh, but the Lord said I should declare it now. Uh, but I guess God can't wait. Watch this. 2024 will be your year of many firsts. Yeah. You didn't hear me. You thought you had me. Will be your year of many firsts. The first time you have your car, the first time you traveled, the first time you are cancer-free, 
the first year you stay of drug, of pornography, of masturbation, your year of many first, 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 your year of many first. Can I ever believe it? Amen. Hallelujah. Please say it, Hallelujah. Your year of many first. Oh, your year of many first. Oh, your year of many first. The first time you operate contracts in the realm of millions. Oh God, oh God, oh God, help me, Jesus. Your year of many first. Your year of many first. Sounds about to go a whole year without drug. For the first time, for the first time, for the first time, a whole year, a whole year. A whole year, a whole year. The year of many first. The year of many first. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And if you study uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1, um, you, will, you will find it there that there are instructions for every miracle. Listen to this. The um, law of fourth dimension or for every miracle you see on it. The only guy that got a miracle with that playing active role waited for 38 years. Now, you don't have that luxury of time. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, you don't have that luxury of time. Now, I'm not a visiting pastor, so I can come here prophesy for the next one hour and we go home. And nobody will be able to sit down. And there's nothing wrong about that. Is that okay? But just that 24 hours after the prophecy, the realities will set in. Is that okay? Now, I've told you what God wants to do. And I'm going to spend the last few minutes to tell you your part. Is that beautiful? Is that beautiful? Because it is your part that commits God. It's your part that commits God. I don't have uh, Bishop Okopi's permission. I would have shared some of his testimony with you. And I, I, I mentioned some of the things he does to get that testimony. Let me say this to you, 2024, Zion and everyone listening. Stop being carried away by testimonies like, I don't know what I did, do. <laughs> I was just minding my business. And boom, it just happened. You know, we love just such testimonies, you know. If I was just minding my business, someone just drop a Ghana must go filled with dollars. I, I mean, who wouldn't love that kind of testimony? <laughs> Pastor, I slept, I woke up, and before I knew Jack Robinson, alarm. You, you know, there is alert, there is alarm, and there is attention. Alert is when, you know alert. Alarm is when you have to read in zeros again. You know, my wife got something like that last week. You know, you know she had to read the zeros again. Like, 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 okay, you got some this morning. Okay, hallelujah. Now, who is getting on that one in the next 24 hours? <laughs> oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Please, you can see it, please. So that's alarm that you have to read the, the zeros again. Oh, I'm going to declare that again. 2024, receive new digits. Please, I didn't come here to joke. I didn't come here to joke. The Lord sent me on an assignment. Huh? 2024, enter the realm of new digits. Eight digits. Nine digits. Ten digits. Receive it by favor. Please sit, hallelujah. Somebody said, Pastor, just like that, just like that. And let me say what I had in my spirit now. It won't happen once in a while. It will be your rep, your, your consistent occurrence in the name of Jesus. The Lord told me something this morning and it just reminded me now. The Lord said, Tell my people every month of this year, every month of this year, at least there will be one major testimony every month of 2024. There will be at least one major testimony. Can I ever believe it? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Please say it. Hallelujah. So there is a lot. There is a lamb. And there is attention. Attention is when your bank manager sends for you. <laughs> That's attention, you know. You know, when EFCC sent for you, that's attention. Amen. Glory to God. I mean, this one that they kind of, you know, they have to send for you. Praise the Lord. So, from this one, chapter 28, the Bible began to talk to us about our part. You can read verse 1 and verse 2. Different parts talking about instructions. Uh, if you're going to be the talk of the nations, if you're going to be above nations, there are instructions. Miracles are not magic. All right, they needed wine. He asked them to fetch water. Are you still there? Yes, they needed wine. He asked them to fetch water. They needed food. He asked them, what do you have? They said, we have five loaves of bread and two fish. 
the lady that the husband died in debt, the prophet said, what do you have in the house? All right? Okay, so there are instructions that God will give us as it push us to the realm of breakthrough. And I'm going to mention maybe two or three at uh, this last day. Is that beautiful? Yes, sir. Now, the first one is, listen, pay attention to this. Pay attention to this. It's going to cause a shift in your life. It's kingdom service. Kingdom service. I, I, I will mention two scriptures that I will advise that you read um, or through this week. Is that beautiful? Are we going to do that? That is Luke chapter 5 and um, uh, First King chapter 4. Now, those two scriptures are full of instructions where breakthrough is concerned. Okay, um, now, this is what caught my attention about the story of Peter. Peter had toiled all night. And just listen close. I hope you won't shut down now. Okay? And when we're talking about the part of God, we're all shouting. Yes, sir. So now, when we talk about our part, we must be shouting to him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Peter had toiled all night. From the story, uh, uh, um, from extra biblical accounts, it's established that Peter was married and the most likely with children. And that this guy toiled all night, he didn't catch anything. You might not understand except you are married. <laughs> it's okay if you are single, you can drink Gary alone, <laughs> especially as a man. But you have a wife at home, with children at home, and that you left, so they believe that dad is coming home. So there are expectations. And here you were, all you studied in school fail. All that your dad taught you in fish reading work. So this guy worked all night. And he's going back home now. There is bees for house rent. All right, there's children's school fees. A lot of bees were waiting for him. All expectations. And yet he didn't catch anything. You know, anytime I read that scripture, it's very mind-blowing. He didn't catch anything. Not even a frog. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he said, we turned all night. We caught nothing. So they didn't catch a jack. All night. You see, have you been there before? You are hardworking, but it looks as if you are not serious. You are putting your base. You are really, really, really hardworking. But because there are no results, you are, you see, it's even affecting your service team. Because you can't really talk freely. It looks as if you don't know what you are doing, but you really know what you are doing. But you lack proof to show what you are doing. That was the case of Peter. And after toil all night, he didn't catch anything. Then Jesus appeared on the scene. And then Jesus said, I like that. Can I use your boat? When I see Peter, I want to ask him a question. That when Jesus asked for your boat, what was running through your mind? Now, listen to this. This was a miracle worker asking for my boat. Is it my boat you need or to change my business? I mean, you are not blind. You see that I've toiled all night. And you are a miracle worker. Do you need my boat before you change my business? Or, yeah, or you change my business and not use the boat. I mean, that would have made more sense, right? Yes, sir. But Jesus said, I like that. Can I use your boat? God is more interested in working through us than working for us. He said, Seek ye first the kingdom, and the rest shall be added. Glory to Jesus. Listen, you. Your banking job is not your purpose. It's just a vehicle to your purpose. You need to listen. You need to listen good now, right now. Your profession, whatever you do, your business, is not, that is not your assignment. That is just a vehicle to your assignment. And let me say this to you, Zion here, and everyone listening to me. You are not the only one that have expectations where 2024 is concerned. You are not the only one that entered this year with expectations. Can I submit to you? God also has expectations. As you enter this year with expectations, things you are believing God to do, I'm going to get my this year, I'm going to travel to the country this year, I'm going to get my car this year, I'm going to get houses this year. With all your expectations, said to the child of God, God also has expectations. The number of souls God is believing will be saved this year. The number of drug addicts that God is believing will be rescued this year. You see, the numbers of God has list of people that he has budgeted that they won't escape this year. Is somebody with me here? Yes, and in the plan of God, God is trying to map his plan through you. So, uh, Anna needed a child. God needed a prophet. Oh, yes. So, Anna said, so God told Anna, Anna, can we do business? Okay, I know you want to travel out of the country. I don't have a problem with you traveling out of the country. But I need ambassadors. I need missionaries. But these missionaries, they won't go through seminaries. 
Oh, this missionaries, I'm going to smuggle them in as if they want to study masters. This missionaries, I'm bringing them in as professionals. Okay, this mission, they are going in on the platform of business. But now, why you are believing me for international doors for your business? I need some missionaries. So God is saying, God, give me visa. God said, can we do business? I don't have problem opening doors of nations for you. But can you be my mouthpiece to nations? Oh, I don't, I don't have problem giving you each followership on social media. But can me and you have a deal? What will you do when I give you the each followership on social media? I don't have problem announcing you. But what is in the kingdom for your announcement? Anna, you need a child. Anna, I need a prophet. Can we do business? Are you interested? I know you know God as healer, you know God as deliverer, you know God as restorer. I present to you guys, God is a businessman. Yes, Jesus said, I must be about my father's business. You think he only sent the only begotten son because he loved the world? You miss it. Because the son of God became the son of man, the sons of men may become the sons of God. It was a doctrine of exchange. I give the only I have so that I can gain the whole world. Is somebody with me here? You are not the only one with expectations. God has expectations. God has expectations. Peter, you won't break through. I need a boat. And can I submit to a Peter in this building that Jesus is asking for your boat is your privilege. Because if you study Luke chapter 5 very well, it wasn't one boat that was there. There were other boats. So if Peter had missed that opportunity, he would have missed destiny. So every time God is calling you into service in the kingdom, it's not talking. It's not giving you invitation because he can't do without you. It's only giving you invitation because it's about to change your life. You see, every time you need a blessing, God give you a body. Ah, every time you need provision, God give you a vision. Is somebody with me here? So God said, Peter, I need your boat. Again, let me balance this. Not everybody will be in choir. Not everybody will be in protocol team. Not everybody will wear uniform. But what added value are you to the kingdom of God? I preached this before. The Kenneth Egan had a member, family member that was sick. And, uh, and, and this lady died. And Egan prayed. And God brought her back to life. And some months later, about eight months thereabouts, this lady died again. And Kenneth Egan went to God with anger in the spirit. God, your word says, whatever you do is for heaven. How would you bring her back to life and take her again? God said, between the time I restore her and the time she died again, what is of her use to me? You need to go out after this service and find out how much they sell oxygen and find out how many oxygen do you take per day. Mm. Uh, okay, God said, from the time I restore her and, the, and now, what is of her use to me? Listen, God has zero tolerance for unproductive life. Yes. I'm submitting to you guys that 2024, you need to sit down. How can I be a blessing? You see, I answer this question a lot of time, but if Paul have the phone you have in your hand, if Apostle Paul should have the phone you have in your hand, what will Apostle Paul do with it? Think about it. 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 And one of the ways to serve is Job chapter 42 verse 10. That was the breakthrough of Job. But see what Job did. But say, when Job prayed for his friend, you see that? When Job prayed for his friend, when Job prayed for them, can I teach you desire here? Can I teach you this, guys? He said, whatever you are believing God for, can it become your prayer point for others? Yes, sir. Oh, God, you get this, it changes your life. You are believing God for miracle jobs, right? Can you begin to intercede? The Lord, I stand in God five, ten minutes every day. Everyone believing you for miracle job. My father, my father, answer them. The daddy boy said, I pray for all the pastors in Nigeria. And you know why I am number that he didn't end the message. <laughs> because you never lack what you give. You only lack what you give. Is somebody with me here? You are believing God for fruits of the womb. Can you begin to intercede for women believing God for the same thing? There was a meeting by Benny Hinn and one woman was very terribly sick. Some meters to where the crusade was happening. And in her room, she was interceding for every sick person in the crusade. Now watch this. It was seven days crusade. By the fifth day, in the room where she was, the hand of God touched her and she got a healing. And by the last day of the crusade, she walked into the crusade healed. Because whatsoever you make happen to others, God is committed to making the same thing happen for you. Is someone with me here? How are you having values to the kingdom? 
you are not the only one. You see, that was what Mordecai was telling Esther. That Esther, don't think you are in the kingdom. Don't miss this. Get this. For uh, don't miss your, your. Don't ever think you are in the kingdom because don't, don't ever think you are married to the king or to the president because of your beauty. Oh, <laughs> ah, because someone was there before you. See, never, never forget that my pastor got to Abuja, eh, 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 and when they got told, the girl said, "Biodo, no. you see what I ask you to do in Abuja, you are not the first I told." I think that should keep all of us on board, right? He yes, said, you are not the first I told. You are not the first I told. So in other words, I taught someone or I taught some people, get your come out with the best healing evangelist. My conclusion, okay, you can argue with your microphone later, okay? <laughs> but according to my conclusion, get your come out the best. I love her. When I get to heaven, I want to see her. You know, get your, oh, I love her so much. You know, get your come out say that God gave me so much healing anointing because over 1,000 men disappointed God. Hey. Over 1,000 men disappointed God. That's why God could drop such heavy anointing upon the woman. So what I'm saying is, don't forget about Kichukuma. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Amen. Hallelujah. What I'm saying is this. What God is giving you the privilege to do, all right, you are not the first. You are not the first. And Mother Cat told Esther, they said, you are in the kingdom for such a time as this. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. The breakthrough came for Zechariah when he was at his duty post. Let me say this to somebody here. What is pulpit? Pulpit is not this. Pulpit is the platform God has given you to pull men out of pit. So as a banker, your banking job is your pulpit. As a fashion expert, your fashion industry, that's your pulpit. Hallelujah. When you talk, people listen to you. That is your gift. Hallelujah. You know, I have a pastor friend. He did a lot of teaching. Are you ready for this? Can you undo this? He did a lot of teaching on Jesus. Crazy. He, he ran series. Maybe after all the video he posted, I think he got like very, very popular man of God. Okay? I, I'm trying to mention his name now. He got some thousands of views. And many, many days later, I think it was Justin Baby or one of these guys, then just wrote a statement. What my friend spent three Sundays to preach. She, he, he wrote just a post on Instagram and one, two hours has millions of likes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Influence. 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 I'm praying for somebody here. May God give you a platform this year. Amen. Can I have a believer here, amen? amen? Can I have a believer here, amen? And the final one I'm going to drop here. Yeah, please, you can see it, please. Um, let me show you this powerful scripture. It will bless you. Glory to God. Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1. Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want everybody to read Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1. So in case we just join in now. So we are preaching on breakthrough. Hallelujah. Let me declare for somebody here. All that God did for you 2023 will be nothing compared to what God will do for you in 2024. Amen. Can I have a believer? Amen. Amen. Please look have your seats. Please look into the screen. Let's read one, two, three, go. Everybody can we read. Ask the Lord for rain in the time Hold on. Very disturbing scripture. Ask the Lord for rain in the time So it's the time for rain, but you still have to ask God. Oh, you get this, it changes your prayer life. Uh, yes. It's time for rain. But you still have to ask God. It is God's will. But you still have to ask God. Can I tell you again what's preaching? Oh God, you need to listen right now. You need to listen right now. Can I tell you again, you know, when he was here, he's an American preacher. He used to have divine encounter with Jesus. And one day he sat, Jesus stood and Jesus was talking to Kenneth Hagin. And a demon stood in between both of them. And the demon was interrupting the conversation that Jesus and Hagin were having. So much so that Hagin couldn't hear Jesus audibly. And so out of frustration, Kenneth Hagin rebuked the demon and the demon left. And Hagin said, Jesus, you were talking, I was not hearing you. And yet you kept talking. Why didn't you ask the demon to leave? And Jesus said, I can't. Why? 
he has given the authority to man. People are waiting on the God of Elijah. Why God is waiting on the Elijahs of God? You'll be saying, Lord, when will you show up? God is a son, when will you show up? I have given you the power to change your life. Is somebody with me here? Please sit together. The Bible says, if you say to this man, say, not if a prophet, not if God, if you say, do you know, can you undo this? There was a contention over the body of Moses, dead body of Moses. And, and, and the angel Michael, oh, there are hierarchies of angels in heaven. So Michael, Gabriel, they belong to the highest class. So angel Michael couldn't rebuke devil. Because when devil was in heaven, devil was above him. Or some said they were contemporaries. And the gift and the calling of God are without repentance. So with understanding of authority, Michael couldn't rebuke Satan. He said, the Lord rebuke you. I'm about to show you something here. That is the archangel that couldn't rebuke Satan. Now, what the archangel couldn't do, that is what God says you can do. He said, these signs will follow them that believe. In my name, they will act below demons. They will cast out devil. So, in the realm of the spirit, the least in the kingdom is higher than the highest of angels. So, as a believer, when you are worshipping angels, you don't know what you are doing. Please sit, guys. Hallelujah. He said, the Lord, he said, he said, he said you will rebuke the devil and the devil will flee. You've been waiting on God. God said, I've been waiting on you. And I come back at the And let me teach you this. Can you handle this? I'm not just teaching you to talk to demons. I'm not just teaching you to talk to your stepmom, that enemy. It's okay to deal with stuff like that. But at least it will be 2024. You need to start talking to nature. You need to start speaking to elements. You know, I've just moved to a GRA. And, and, and when, when I got there, I said, this GRA, everything works here. Oh, you didn't hear, you didn't hear me. I said, everything works. Everything works here. Just because I'm here, the power has to work. The security has to work. Gabriel Wale is here, amen. That has been his journey, amen. Hallelujah. And they were having a challenge with power. But now, amen. Hallelujah. Listen. You can recreate your world. I said, you can recreate your world. Ezekiel spoke to dry bone. Joshua spoke to the man. Jesus commanded that the, the, the storm to stop. You can talk to your check. You can talk to your car garage. And if you can talk to inanimate things, they will answer. How much more that cancer? How much more that uh, how much more that fibro? That is why devil said, let everything within me. Praise the Lord. How much more that depression? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sis, guys, you cannot break through with your mouth closed. That's what I'm saying. You cannot break through with your mouth closed. Whether business, whether career, whether your health, whatever you don't want, you don't watch. You cannot break through with your mouth closed. You cannot break through with your mouth. Listen, nations you don't talk to will not open for you. Nations have ears. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Everything created by God have ears. Because they came by words. So they can open up by words. Yes. If Jesus have to speak to experience breakthrough, then who are you, sir? Amen. Oh, can I say that? I'm done already. I'm done. I'm done already. If Jesus have to speak to experience a breakthrough, who are you, sir? You are not that special. Oh, God, I know you are special. here, man. Hallelujah. But if Jesus have to speak, Pastor, did Jesus speak to experience breakthrough? Oh, I will bore you with example. The first time he was going to the other side and there was a storm. Hey. Hallelujah. He was going to the other side and there was a storm. Hallelujah. And he had to rebuke the storm. Glory to God. The one that I love most. When he was ascending, then all of a sudden there was contention in the third heaven. And Jesus said, lift up your head. Oh, ye gate. And be lifted up everlasting door. Now that is an incantation from Jesus. And you would have thought that the gate would just open. But a question came from the realm of the spirit. Who is the king of glory? Can I ask somebody this question? For a very long time, your checkbook have been asking you. Who are you? For a very long time, situation, circumstances, I've been asking you questions. Who are you? Every time you try to make move, you try to progress. There were barriers asking you questions. Who are you? It's not for you to give up. It's not for you to throw 
in the toilet. It's not for you to say, God, where are you? God said, go again. God said, go, go again. They asked Jesus, who is the king of glory? And he repeated the same word. He said, the Lord strong, and the Lord mighty. Lift up your head, oh, ye gate. I need somebody to declare this week. You speak to that multinationals. You command that country. You command that nation. You speak to your body. You say, lift up your head. Oh, ye gate. Lift up your head. Lift up your head, oh, ye gate. Lift up your head, oh, ye gate. Lift up your head, oh, ye gate. Pastor, I said this last year, nothing happened, go again. Pastor, I said this six months ago, nothing happened, go again. For ten times, Moses was appearing before Pharaoh, saying the same thing, saying the same thing, saying the same thing, saying the same thing. Same thing. Pastor James White, in the city of Ephesus, so mightily good you word and prevailed. I will continue speaking. I will continue declaring. Hallelujah. 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 Midnight, Paul and Silas. They pray and they worship. Midnight, do you know what midnight means? Midnight is a season of dryness. It's a season when nothing makes sense. It's a season when you follow the God's leading for your life. And you have expected the testimony the next day. But here you are six months. Nothing to show for it. Paul and Silas, they were in the midnight season of their life. And they began to pray. Let me give a warning to somebody here. This is not the first time you are hearing teaching on prayer. This is not the first time you are hearing teaching on confessing the word. But similarly, you thought the word is not working. But the Lord said, I should tell you, your prayers are working. Ah, your prayers are working. Your prayers are working. Why would look not at the things that are seen huh? for the things that are seen are temporal huh? for the things that are not seen are eternal huh? please let me push your neighbor separate your prayers are working huh? at the source of your prayers are working huh? and a very very soon huh? uh, the inner expression huh? will give birth to outward manifestation huh? listen to me Zion here this week spend at least 30 minutes declaring words did you hear me at least 30 minutes this week over your business over your health over your career any area of you at least 30 minutes is it that 30 minutes before you sleep or the first 30 minutes when you wake up get pictures of what you are believing god for get videos of what you are believing god for write down your expectations bring out your international passport whatever it is and 30 minutes this week you're speaking words and I can bet it in the name of God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Ghost. You are returning with mind blowing testimonies. Uh, can I give someone one minute right now? Hey! Can I give someone one minute right now? Can I have me catch chapter 2, verse 13 in the media? We are going to use it to pray. And we are going to be having God's servant. Now, listen, anywhere you are connected from, uh, don't be, don't disconnect right now. Your moment is here. Your moment is here. There will be a lot of instant healings right now. There will be a lot of instant breakthrough right now. Can I have Old King James Version? Then get message ready. Old King James, then get message version ready. The breaker! Hey! The breaker! is come up before then. The breaker! The breaker! The breaker, the breaker. You will look up 2024 to 2024. The breaker has gone ahead of me. Hey, Listen, I don't know as you go to embassy this year. Huh? I don't know what you're believing God for. Huh? The place of 2024. The breaker has gone ahead of me. Huh? Can you plaster that word into 2024? Say the breaker has gone ahead of me. Things that were difficult are now made easy. Oh, doors of nations will perform it. Doors of opportunities will perform it. In Jesus' mighty name. Can we have message version? Message version. I, God, we bust. How many confirm it? So they are confirm it in the mind. Ayakata. Pastor, it is still that they used to do it. All confirmation. 
Pastor, they did it in my new world. All confinement. Pastor, it's generational curse. All confinement. Pastor, this thing happened to blacks in US. All confinement. Pastor, it's because of my academic background. All confinement. The class said 2024. All confinement. Apostle. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Say 2024. All confinement. And Passover. Can you declare it in 30 seconds? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, Jesus' mighty name. This is I. The third one, I mentioned kingdom service, I mentioned prayer. The third one, listen to this. We will practicalize it, I'm not teaching it. The third one is prophetic. By a prophet, the Lord brought them out. By a prophet, the Lord brought them out. How? Oh, believe in the Lord your God. You'll be established. Believe in this prophet. Time will fail me. Many testimonies. And the prophetic instruction God has given us this morning. Is worship. Hallelujah. On Thursday, God gave us communion. You are testimony today. You are testimony. Osa went back to her. To the glory of God. And I was ministering like this, and the Lord said we should pray over water. And the lady from Dubai connected. She's still close to our ministry. And she ran with her husband to get a bottle of water. No, I mean, a bucket of water. And she drank it. And five broad dropped. Yeah. To the glory of God. From Dubai. There are people here that know the testimony. The instruction today is worship. Let me say this please. The proud can't worship God. You don't need to know the song. You don't need to know the lyrics. It's to the audience of one. I, 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 I was going to say that I swear. It's out of passion, guys. I bet. Okay. okay. Hope that is nice, right? There's nothing that has troubled your heart. That will not be undone now. Why? He said, if I be lifted, I will draw men 